Okay, so we are here with Joe from their world aquatics. Don't say slow Joe. And this crazy man we wants to... You don't have to... to mention slow Joe. You just mentioned slow Joe. <laughs> so what, well, what are you going to do today, Joe? We're going to attempt to get this electric eel out of the tank, up in the upper tank, without getting so blasted. You hear that? Three foot Tesla. We're gonna take out of this one and bring them straight up to the top of this tank. And Joe volunteered to do it. He used to move his six foot electric eel back when he had the pet shop. So how are we gonna do it? Rubber gloves from the nursing station because he's the man. Just grab it, bit onto it. The adults have 600 volts. Yep. So what do we got here though? You can't die letter. Does this just come off? Okay, this is our sandbox or sand blaster gloves, is what they are. They, they look like rubber. Sand blasting gloves for electric eel. <laughs> You've got a rubber handle on the rubber. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm getting set up here. If we set you up, we tell you he likes to be petted. There he goes. <laughs> He's de definitely not a happy camper. He knows you're coming. Sorry guys, there's a glare on the glass. Joe's getting scared. So if you guys didn't know that this man plays with high voltage power lines all day long. But he's scared of a little electric eel. <laughs> Why am I holding the net, not you? <laughs> you volunteered? <laughs> we love you, Joe. Just catch that eel. I am totally down for my friends doing very, very dumb ideas. But no, that was a smooth approach. Very nice, Joe. I might have to quit ragging on you. Oh, you let him go. He's surprisingly not uh, shocking like I thought he would be. Well, you don't see a shock. It's going well, on. You, usually he, he you know, spazzes a little bit and he, he jolts and you can see his body coil up. He's he going in. Give him time to back out. He's going in. No, he backed out. He's going to take a couple of rounds. Once, once you got his head, scoop him. Go fast. You ain't, got, you ain't got to give him no time. You give him time, he backs out. This is coming to God. This is coming from the guy that's barefoot, not holding the net. <laughs> <laughs> you got well, I'm barefoot, here. and I'm not holding the net because I'm barefoot. And the carpet's wet. Let's get this out of here. This is part of the problem. There you go. Driftwood is out. Now time to grab Mr. Tesla. Come on, buddy. This is it. Oh. Look at that. Mr. Tesla. Ow! <laughs> You're the man, Joe. Let's do it again. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> All right, now the the shock from this guy can only carry six feet, correct? Through water, it, it, it dissipates the farther away you get. The problem was, I'm standing barefoot on wet carpet. He grabbed me and was going to put his hand in the water, and I'm not going to let that happen. <laughs> <laughs> it would travel through him and nail me. <laughs> Is your ponytail conductive? I don't want to buy that. <laughs> Alright, Tesla's moved. So we have Joe from Their World. He is here picking up some saltwater rescues. Let's go ahead and name these fish off as you pull them out. You guys probably already know if you watch the behind the scenes video.
Oh, you're one of those guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, where's the where's the clown at? Here he is. A little small guy right there. Also this. Oh. There he is. Nemo. 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 <laughs> Cute little guy. Can you see him? Go ahead and get him in the water. There he goes. Now what tank are these guys going into? We're going to quarantine, so we're just going to do a 30 gallon litter just on a bubbler, that's it. I'll treat them with some Prozzi Pro. And that's it, this is the Colombian. Yep. Saltwater Colombian shark. Now I was worried that small little fish in with this catfish ended up being dinner. Nope. But she said that they've been, been together for years. And this, this is, is a blue damsel? Yeah, it was trippy at first. Look at him fighting. Good little guy. Alright, going home. And now we wait for the next saltwater rescues and Joe will come and pick them up yet again. So if you guys were... Remember, he's already gotten a few saltwater rescues. He's he's gotten some fox face, uh, yet uh, yellow sergeant. Yep. Don't forget about Hoover. And a day Jardini tang, if I remember correctly. He has a while ago. So yeah, he's gotten some nice fish. He will continually take our saltwater rescues as we get them in. So uh, once they start becoming more abundant, we might set up a saltwater reservoir here but until then Joe's just riding out and taking these guys as they come or he goes and picks them up directly so th thanks again Joe and remember guys they're world aquatics go ahead and give them a follow on YouTube okay guys so in this bottom 75 you see this clown moat here there goes a 10 inch net right next to him and he's about two inches longer than the net or so. So I'd say he's a good 11 inch to be on the safe side. But there's a few loaches in here, a few ballas, this monster Severum, and then I've got a little Armadas back there. So we're gonna go ahead and place these guys around and uh, get them in their prospective tanks. All right, so you guys seen Tesla in his new tank. He just got some new digs and he seems to be liking them there's a plant in each corner and we have these ships in here to try and make him look like the big sea monster on the bottom of the sea floor but as soon as these decorations went went in he just went to hiding behind them and goes in and out of the plants so i think he likes them don't really like that they take up so much room but he's you know slender and he just slithers around so i think it'll work out for him but eventually he will get yet another tank upgrade and uh, maybe he'll be in like a three, four hundred gallon by the time's end. But slowly but surely, he's only about three foot long now. He's in a six foot tank, but he's the only thing in here. Look at him, beautiful fish. He don't like that plant at all. He says, get this out of here. He's trying to kill the plant. He is, I guarantee he's zapping the tar out of that. Ooh. Yeah, he is. Look at him. He hates it. Wow, he really hates that plant. He's so mad. <laughs> that is so cool. When are you going to catch this on camera? <laughs> Stick your finger in there. No. <laughs> <laughs> he's still going after it. He let it go. Nope. nope. Yep, he let it go. Nope, he's going after it. Nope, he let it go. All right, so we did end up taking them two smaller boats out. We just left them in with the plants. And Mr. Tesla here seems to be liking his new tank. As you can see, he's got a little belly on him. He does eat very well for us. 
So uh, Tesla is liking his new tank. He hides in this plant over here. As you can see, he bites the crap out of that one, but I'm not reaching in that there to get it, but that kind of gives him something to do, and he likes hiding behind this ship here. Sometimes he'll come out and he'll say hi, just like this. But nonetheless, he loves his new tank. Very, very graceful creature. Beautiful just to sit out here and watch. But you also got to be careful. He can be very, very dangerous. So I'm just giving you guys a nice, relaxing look at Mr. Tesla here. Just so majestic. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more crazy adventures with the Ohio Fish Rescue, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, stay fishy my friends.